and welcome to FIFA Save My Life. Thank you very much for joining me today on this day of well, new signings. Uh, we have new season and new signings. So this has got to be officially the last season in FIFA 20. Uh, we are at the point where we have a month and a bit left to the new FIFA 20. Uh, oh, FIFA 21, yeah. FIFA 21. So exciting time. So this is it, guys. Uh, we have plenty to work towards. Uh, so I'm going to go through what we have uh, and then I'm going to go through also the SBC for the new signing of Manchester City. Uh, we have uh, Torres, uh, which is very exciting. A 90 uh, uh, four, I think he was uh, rated Torres. But let's start with what we have uh, in the actual objection, uh, objectives and uh, season progress. Uh, before I do so, guys, please make sure you hit a like and a subscribe. Uh, and I'll give you a very good reason why I give 50% of my profits to charity. I give them to mind the charity for mental health and well being. So there you go, guys. Really good reason to do it. Watch the video, and uh, I get to give the money to charity, which is. Thank you very much. Right, so let's start with the fact that we do have this amazing card. Uh, we do have a Sané. Uh, really easy to do by the looks of it. Not too bad. Uh, we've been given another pack with five uh, tots in it, so you have no excuses. And there's uh, like scoring with German strikers, etc. And you've obviously got... Um, Timo Werner in there who will uh, sort of smack him in from the, the, the you know in the you can do it in um, friendlies by the way as well uh, some of it so some of it's rivals some of it's friendlies uh, so you've got lots of scope to get this and it's probably very easy and hopefully I'm hoping by tonight I would have completed this and I will have Sani in my team because he looks amazing and especially since he's named Bayern Munich uh, so we've got Sané as one we also have Tina, Team Tots um, rare players uh, in there so we have some tots rare players bits uh, we also have a season progress so we have the final season progress as you can see i've already started so you've got pack, plenty of packs obviously we've got uh focus on people like didier drogba we've got a bullet we've got more pele uh, so we've had pele before and we've now got more pele um our first choice that we have is you could get Diego Costa, Bali or uh, Nagame uh, who looks absolutely amazing all three of those to be fair um, and again depending on where your team's falling at the moment they're 93, 94 and 92 so whether you want it as fodder or not uh, is just really going to be your choice again plenty of cards we've got obviously got R9 in there that you can get uh, which is really nice and then obviously right at the end gain another new signing 96 rated Ziyech uh, so Ziyech is in there he looks amazing we have 95 rated Bale uh, uh, as a striker as well so we know that's going to be great or you get the choice of picking a prime or moments icon player so you can roll the dice on that one uh, so it could be a real stinker or it could be really good or you could just go I'm going to go for Ziyech. Uh, so, yeah, that's the one I'm going to be working towards. So, again, obviously, by the time we get to there, yes, it will be very much near to the end of the season and probably very much near to the end of FIFA 21. But it gives us something to work towards, doesn't it? So, let's concentrate on what the actual uh, SBC was today. Uh, so, like I said, we have Man City's a brand new striker um, in... in uh, the striker uh, yeah, right midfielder and we have Torres uh, so looks really really good uh, Ferran Torres uh, he looks brilliant so I'm going to go through his stats played some games with him scored some goals with him at uh, linked him to uh, De Bruyne uh, who I have obviously I did the 99 De Bruyne uh, in the last season so now I have a lovely strong link straight to him uh, I don't know if he's going to continue getting in my team um, due to the fact that obviously I have 97 Salah but I was so impressed with this guy, guys. And so let's go for the stats before I start gushing about how good he is. And he's 5'11", so nice meta height. He is a uh, high medium, which is great for a right winger. Uh, he does have a uh, four-star, four-star, which is, again, the minimum you want at this stage of the game, but really, really good. Uh, his skills feel very, very good. I was able to dribble a lot with him. Uh, he definitely um, uh, scored with his left foot and his right foot. 
Um, so yeah, he was brilliant. His speed is top notch. He's 97 pace overall with 98 and 97 sprint speed. So yeah, you really don't need to do anything with that. And he does feel a bit rapido. Uh, his striking is off the charts, guys. Uh, again, remember, I don't look at this before I uh, talk to you about it. So I just basically buy the player and then play a game with him and then I give feedback on how he feels and I've just spied 98 finishing guys 98 finishing that is absolutely amazing uh, for a uh, uh, SBC card we've got 96 attacking position as well we've got 94 shot power all three of those absolutely brilliant now I can tell you now I scored a hat trick in his first game he was great I scored one from the penalty shot uh, penalty spot uh, as uh, uh, is tradition as soon as I get a penalty in the first game he gets uh, whoever I am trialing and doing a video on clearly gets the penalty and he did and he put it away uh, so and then the other two goals were a well worked goals one with the right foot one with the left so uh, yeah that those three stats really do add up it's got brilliant long shots at 77 uh, which is fine it's oh, I say brilliant it, it, it to be fair, he's you won't really have him outside the air. If you're having him as a right wing, I had him actually as Cam uh, due to the fact that I really felt that he would uh, be utilised there, and he was. He was really good. Uh, he got 89 volleys and 82 penalties. So again, he took a penalty for me, scored it with 82 penalties. I am not good at penalties. Uh, so we've got 89 vision there, guys, with 99 crossing, which is what you want to see for a winger at this stage. Uh, we've got terrible free kicks at 61 so i'm glad i didn't take a free kick with him did take a free kick with de bruyne and scored a cracker as you might see uh we've got 93 short passing 96 long passing that is a superb uh with 77 curve now we have dribbling his uh, second highest stat which is 95 his highest being pace at 97 uh, he has agility at 92 balance at 83 now again i had a no problem with his balance i had no problem with his agility although that isn't of the higher uh sort of echelon he was very good on the ball uh, so yeah that that isn't something i'm gonna say uh is uh definitely don't do uh he uh, was fine uh, his reactions of 82 again he had a bit of a follow-up on one of the goals so yeah really good 95 ball control 98 dribbling 91 composure all very 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 good uh, and overall this looks an amazing card guys he's got 79 heading 81 jumping so he ain't going to be winning many headers uh, but who does let's be fair uh, we do have uh, 92 stamina so yes more than fine to go all game uh, he has 84 strength and 70, uh, 47 aggression so he is a placid Frenchman he does have technical dribbler and as his only tray guys at uh, this guy is under a hundred K he's an 83 rated team I think it comes out just about 80 something grand uh, it is stupidly cheap for an 80 a 94 rated player uh, who is Man City nice and easy to link uh, a lot of people have Premiership players a lot of people have Spanish players again you got to look at we had Thiago last week uh, we've got uh, a really good card in, in um, Pablo Sarabia at the moment where he went up to 96 because he got to the final uh, so I use him quite a lot uh, you've got lots of very good Spanish again if you're looking to link up from the right back if you're not using a, a you know a, a premiership one if you're, I've got like Trent at the moment but if you weren't doing that easily easily you know, Danny Carver how would easily link to him so you've got lots of nice links all over the pitch guys uh, and again with that four star if you really wanted to you could probably have him on the left at seven chem and you'd get away with it uh, if you're looking for a different striker but uh, on different winger but again i'm really aiming towards getting that uh that uh, sane later on and uh sticking him on my left i think he's probably going to be more of a super sub for me uh during weekend leagues uh, i think he'll come on he's got bags of pace able to score a goal uh, he could probably come on up front he could probably come on in in cam as i played him uh, he is very good i don't think he'll quite knock out um mo salah but i think he's very close and it's a very very cheap good option guys uh, go out and get him why not it's nearly the end of fifa we are on the dry run in guys we are nearly 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 on the flat run to 
FIFA 21 and I am excited. I get more excited every day. It's like Christmas. I wake up every day wanting FIFA 21. I am very excited about FIFA 21 uh, and I will be bringing you videos uh, by the ton. So make sure you hit a like and a subscribe so you don't miss any. Uh, and I will be back with you very soon. Take care of yourself and if you can't, find someone who can. Bye bye.